The fire is still burning in Sugar House, and that has neighbors concerned. Fox 13 News reporter Maitha Gooby joins us live from the scene this evening, where we can still see that building smoldering. Maitha Lee. There is still smoke coming out of this apartment building. If you're in the area like we are, you can smell the smoke. There is haze in the air. I spoke to people and businesses in this area who say that's been a problem for them, but they are thankful that even with a fire of this size, no lives were lost. It impacted all of us as a community because there's this big fire. You're walking home at night and you see flames and you're like, what's going on? Yeah, so it's, it's impacted all of us. Renee Foster works at Redmond Farm Kitchen across the street from the apartment building under construction that caught fire late Tuesday night. It's been kind of crazy. Um, we had to close down yesterday because there was, you know, of course, the fire across the street and it was smoky and hazy in here. Even along the freeway, uh, already I could smell the smoke. And that continued when I arrived up at my house, that even though we're on the other side of uh, the, the freeway, the gully, uh, the smell of smoke was strong, and that just, I just couldn't believe it. The Sugar Mountain View apartments were evacuated the night of the fire, and people are gradually coming back into their homes. Here's a view from one apartment that faced the fire. We do have a plan in place. Uh, we're going through each of those apartments that were affected. And ideally tonight, if everything goes well, we should have most of those people back into their apartments tonight if they're able to do so. But there are still some apartments damaged by the fire that can't be occupied yet. Salt Lake City Fire tells us that Red Cross is not on site anymore, but they can help people who need it. There was just one minor injury reported and no one else was hurt. People we spoke to say they're grateful for the work of the first responders. Just are glad for the best and and you know they're already tearing it down they'll tear it down and they'll rebuild it that can be done when you lose life that's a different issue To help with the investigation, Salt Lake City Fire is asking for information, pictures or videos before crews arrived on the scene to help figure out the cause of this fire. In the meantime, the roads nearby and the businesses closest to the structure will be closed until it's safe to open and their timeline is still not too clear on that. Live in Sugar House, I'm Mike Tiligo B, Fox 13 News, Utah.